seven years ago, I published my first cookbook of recipes from my home country of Belize. My cooking show, The Bear Pantry Show, was created based on that book. Seven years later, I redid the book, removed some of the recipes that I didn't deem to be authentic enough, and added about 30 brand new recipes that are easy to follow, budget-friendly, authentic, and comes out perfect each time. Matter of fact, it comes out perfect the first time. Get your copy today only from www.bearpantryshow.com. Shop safely and securely at www.bearpantryshow.com. This is the Bear Pantry Show. Hey guys, good morning, good afternoon. Well, I don't think it's morning anymore, any part of the United States, maybe Hawaii. Right, Joe? Because it's noon. It's noon for us here in California. Let me make sure the microphone's on. It's on. Hi, Tahara. Hi, seven people. Could you say hello? Remember, we wanted to try a cooking show live, right? So, Tahara, give me a one in the chat if you can hear me, because I don't want to proceed if you can't hear me. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see if they can hear me. Hello. My name is Barbara. You know, I tell people my name is Barbara, and I say it so fast that people started to spell my name B-A-R-B-R-A. -R -R -A. I'm like, no, it's Barbara. So I think I'm saying my own name wrong. Thank you, Tahara. Hi, Sam. Hi, Reddy Rose. How are you? Hi, Sam Kalichik. Yes, I'm over here trying to do this live cooking show because I told you guys I would try. All right, so now that we could go live from the laptop, the Mac, Thank you, um, Conscious TV. That's another YouTuber that somebody helped him figure this out. And then he wrote me a long email helping me figure it out. That was so nice of him because so many people don't ever want to help, but not him. He helped me, all right? So hi, Diane. Hi, Marcella. Hi, Edmund. Oh, my God, we have a good little group. So today we're going to be making garnaches because Joe made some, uh, some beans, some kidney beans. You know, my sister was telling me that kidney beans is not really healthy for you. That the healthier one is pinto. I never heard that before. Have you guys heard that? Comment in the chat if you've heard that pinto beans is healthier than red kidney beans. Because I was raised on red kidney beans. Anyways, you guys noticed that I've been doing those polls. In my last live event, I told y'all that I was going to tell you why I'm doing those polls. Because you know I'm learning how to do this YouTube, right? Trying to level up my little money. Let me see if I missed anything. Hi, Lori. Hi, 27 of It's so good to see you, my friend. Oh, you're listening in the background. Okay, cool. Yeah, so um, they say, the people who are teaching YouTube, right? They say when you're getting ready to put a video out, a recorded video or a live, so for other YouTubers that are listening, they say that YouTube would like for you to utilize the community feed to do a poll, either like a picture poll or just a text poll like I've been doing, asking the viewers a question to answer A or B to, or maybe even C sometimes, because that shows, that gets the people ready for when the video drops, that the people are interested, and that shows the algorithm that you guys are interested. Now, other creators, they will ask you random-ish, right? They don't ask you anything that's going along with their video. I'm, I'm going to always try to keep it with stuff that's going to be in my video, all right? So... I asked you about the house flies versus the ants because we had a ton of rain yesterday, something that we never get in California. <laughs> and so the black ants, we call them crazy ants in Belize. The crazy ants came out and they're just taking over my entire toaster. My God, right when I want to do a cooking show, I'm fighting off ants. And so in the hot days, we were dealing with house flies. One or two would come in. We'd have to kill it before we started to record the show. But then sometimes I think they hatch in here. And then a few days later, all the babies are born because then you'll have a day when there's like 50 of them in here that you're fighting. So the question was, would you rather fight the house flies or the ants? And resoundingly, you guys came back saying that you'd rather fight the flies like me. I'd rather fight the Hi, Bella. Oh, my God. We have so many people in here. I so appreciate you guys coming in. 17 people in the middle of the day. Yes. I can't do the cooking shows at five in the evening. I simply can't. We lose all the good light that comes into the kitchen. I'm tired at five. I can't eat none of that mess when I'm done cooking it. So pretty much we're going to do it now. So you guys can see the camera is stationary on the stand. And let me show you how me, how me, Barbara, <laughs> cut onion. All right. So, you know, we had elections yesterday. You guys that watch me know that I'm a staunch Democrat, liberal Democrat through and through. And so I didn't watch no 
uh, news yesterday. I watch Ion all day because I can't deal with the stress. If Ascari is in the room, As poor Ascari, he goes through it whenever there's elections. I've been trying to keep his faith strong. And I watched a video with this um, girl that said, uh, what's her name? Politics, politics girl or something. And she was saying that don't let the second day fool you because that's a red mirage. It's not legit. Wait till they count all the votes. Then we know where we stand. So I hope, I really hope that the Democrats keep the house because God save us all if them other people get the house because they, they plan in the gut social security. No matter what you feel about the A word, they're planning to get rid of social security. And don't say they won't because everything that they say they're, they're going to do, they do. And Joe gets social security. So child, we might have to go open our OnlyFans if they do that. Mm -hmm. You see Larry Reed live opening our OnlyFans. <laughs> That's how I cut onion. I don't think it's special. I just take the onion and just go, you know, one direction, next direction. And I cut it and I get it like that. I don't know how to do the other stuff I see Chef Ramsey and them do. They turn it down and they do something so on. But the, the, Barbara has no knife skills and I don't want to go to school to get any knife skills. So this is how my family and a lot of Belizeans do the garnaches. I've seen Belizeans do ketchup. You can keep doing ketchup if you want, but don't invite me to that potluck because I'm not going to eat that. I love ketchup. I love ketchup on weird stuff, like even on eggs, but I don't like it on my garnaches. I'd rather tomato sauce and I'd rather have one regular tomato sauce and one El Pato, which is hot, but I didn't have any El Pato because I made some Mexican lasagna the other day. So this is the Bear Pantry kitchen after all. We're going to use what we're going to use. Joe, can you come say hi so I can go over there and wash this, baby? Joe is going to help me by frying the corn. You cut it like that. See, you're a girl after my own heart. Bella, how you doing? Bella, how you fare off with them rain yesterday, girl? Say hi, baby. Let me wash my cans. Hello, people. How you guys doing? <clears throat> See, I'm in the kitchen today, and they just tell me, well, you got to be in the kitchen today because you got to fry the corn. I didn't say it like that. I said, okay. I was kind. No, that's what she said. You better be in the kitchen today because you got to fry the corn. I said, okay. I have a question to ask you guys. This <laughs> is a question my kids asked me the other day. I guess it was on social media, TikTok or something. Let, let me get in here, can you get me the thing to open the can that's in that door? And I, I washed the, the top of my tins even before coronavirus because my mom said when you see rust on the tins, it's rat pee. And she should know because they had a shop. So they know. They know what be going on. Please stop that phone from ringing immediately. Immediately. Oh, I can't stand his phone. It rings loud and obnoxious all day long. How do we get these people to stop calling? Joe, come on, watch the comment section while I do this, baby. I'm gonna put this for you. Oh, Hide it in the room. I want you to watch the comment section while I do this. So I have a little saucepan, and I got this set of pans from Costco a couple of years ago. It was, I want to say it was $135, and then they jacked up the price to $199 for a couple of years. Right, Joe? It was a while. Right. They, this pot, this pot yeah. set. Then they dropped it again. They dropped the price again. It's probably 99 right now. If you guys have $99, run down there and buy this pot set. It has, and I don't get no money off of this, okay? It has a lot of good size pots in it. I'm going to show you guys right now what all it has. What's going on, baby? Mm -hmm. I'm going to put a little bit of water in my can so I can rinse out the tomato sauce. You can put some um, What's up? regular pepper in this thing right here. Regular um, hot sauce. Maybe like um, some. I don't know if I want it hot though. Don't you say you want it hot? I'm gonna put black pepper in there. I'm gonna put black pepper. I want to show them what I have in these pots. Remind me, okay? I'm good. We got lots of rain for three days. You don't know whose hands has handled. I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. Um, I, and you know what? Twenty seven Ave. At least you guys get rain. We never get rain, and we need it, so we didn't complain, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, we, we only had, Bella said she had it for three days. We only had it for two, but mm -hmm. Bella, Bella is in the OC. It's rain all night last, last night. Yeah. Rain all day yesterday yeah. and all night last night. So what I put in there is the diced onion. We're going to set it on the simmer. I always ask Joel why the you, you put in there? The beans. I always ask Joel why the stove have a whole simmer hole, right? Then people don't know that the stove is for a black family. Black families don't do no simmering. That's white families that simmer. <laughs> 
we cook everything on high. That's how we end up with the big C. Can they say I'm not supposed to burn up that thing when you eat them thing, right? <laughs> no complaining about the rain. I'm telling you. So I already addressed the question as to why we do the polls. So please participate in the polls because it tells YouTube's algorithm that y'all are interested in what Barbara and Joe is about to present. All right. So that's the sauce. Like I said, a lot of Belizeans will use ketchup. Now, when I was a little kid growing up, I remember some people would make garnaches and they just take the onion like that, dice it up, and they put it in a little bit of vinegar and water. Right, Joe? Don't put cabbage on it? No, that's for panades. You know what? I don't know. I, I don't oh, remember no. seeing that on garnaches, but it could be. Don't quote me on that. But definitely so the, the onion, cheese. they put the beans, and then cheese. the onion is soaked in a little bit of vinegar and water, and then the cheese. And the cheese that we use is Dutch cheese. This is a good, um, what do you call it, pungent cheese. If you don't like pungent cheese, you're not going to like this. It's red back. You know what I saw somebody did one time on TikTok? They, they take off all the red part of the cheese, right? Because this cheese come whole and round. And they melted it on the stove like this. They simmered it. And it became a liquid, like a red liquid. And then when they cut the cheese that they want to use, they go ahead and they coat the red thing back on the cheese. And that way the cheese seal back up again and it never gets hard. We're going to do that when we buy another the cheese. We're going to cut it in half and do it to half and see. So that when, when you cut that in half, Joe, the whole half will have the red thing around and around and around. You put that away and you use just one half. Because mm -hmm. this cheese is expensive. It's like $45, $50 for the whole thing. One time Bella had sent me a little piece from the regular store, right? Thank you. It was so good. This is from when my mom was alive and we went to bury my, dad, my mom's brother in March of 2016. You see how old is cheese? It smell like stinky feet, not my feet, because my feet always smell good. I take care of my feet because my uncle used to work for a podiatrist, and he says people don't understand why they need to take care of their feet, get them calluses off your feet, get your, your heel, soak your feet in Epsom sauce, take care of your toenails, and he goes, you don't realize how much you need your feet. Your feet is part of your balance system, by the way. If you're having calluses and you can't step on your whole foot, and you, it's going to throw you off balance. So take care of your feet. So my feet don't smell stink. Never. Let's see what y'all saying. Okay, if you have questions, please ask the questions in the chat so that we can answer any questions you may have. So this is simmering. I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle some salt and Joe grind the pink Himalayan sea salt because it come too, what do you call it? Too coarse. Yes, thank you, Joe. Too coarse. And I put a little bit of black pepper because Joe wants it hot. We're going to taste it. Joe is fishing crap out of the oil. But he's not fishing a house fly. Like one time I had the oil and I didn't have it covered on top of the stove. Tell me why the stinking house fly, the conkers, went and pitched in my oil and drowned. And I'm over there heating up the oil to fry panadas, man. And Joe said, what is that in the oil? I didn't fry none yet, though, guys. And I said, I don't know. And he goes, that's a fly. Jesus, Lord, have mercy. I nearly want to throw the whole pot. I had to throw it all the oil, wash it pot, and start over again. He's fishing whatever we fried in the oil yesterday. The oil is only a day old. I fried some chicken nuggets, all right? You guys are doing a million things at once. I hope Jasmine can come in because I did it in the middle of the day so we could get some of the people from over in the UK to come in, okay? Shut up, 27 down. He said protein. <laughs> I'd rather eat cricket. I was going to say maybe I'd rather eat a roach, but no. No, I can't. I can't. I would, I would eat a cricket if I had. I would eat a cricket for money. I wouldn't just would eat you, it for eat it sake. Would you eat a roach for money? No. I'm going to no. say, let's say they say, okay, I'll give you $100,000. Eat five roach. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's going to be hard. I need 100K. Yeah, I Who stay, came? Uh, Joshua came or Jay? Joshua? I'll say, let's right here. That's like this. Joshua, would you eat five roach for 100K? I Josh. <laughs> I suppose you can season them, Josh. No, no, no. You don't have to season them. Joshua said if they're seasoned and fried, he would. But if it's just picking up off the floor? Uh -huh. <laughs> For $100,000? Yes, I eat it. Is there anything? What's the Belize word of the day? What are the Belize word of the day? Come here. Uh, come here is koya. <laughs> koya. Koya. All right, come here, Koya. Tahara, you're Belizean, right? I forget, I always forget if Tahara is Belizean or not. I swear, Mr. Okay, I don't think I need 100K really bad, but I don't know if I could do that roach. But he could do it. Mr. Okay says she wouldn't do it. She said, watch eat everything, including dead roach, then a cannibal. 
But but I mean, if you're hungry and watch your own, you gotta eat it. Maybe so. <laughs> he has a brother that told me that there's not much that he would not do for money. I said, why? No me. No me. Anyways, let me get the beans. It's over here. Joe made this two beans yesterday in the slow cooker. He ate some with pigtail. Oh, let me show you guys. But it's the beans cold right now, okay? Look, I show you. We went to LA the other day and Joe gone and buy pigtail. So see, the pigtail is in the beans. So he ate some of that yesterday and I'm going to refry because you have to cook the beans first to, into this two beans level in order to refry the beans. And I refry with butter. Mexican people will refry with lard. I'm not knocking it except for the fact to tell you that it's not healthy. The butter not healthy neither, but at least you could use this and leave it. When they use the manteca, oh, Lord have mercy. But let me tell you, when I go to a Mexican backyard party, I'll be eating up them refried beans because <laughs> I know it's made with good lard and I don't cook that at home. All right. So I will eat that. Let's see. And look on that. Miss Lucky, you, you the black American. Okay, cool. I love the way you say it too, because I never say African American. Africans a whole continent. This is a whole continent. How you could be two continents put, put together. Uh, Miss Lucky, see, you know, the alligator, you know, you know, white girl Tammy still had left over alligator and cooked soup out of it and carried it on potluck this weekend. Who? White girl Tammy. Yeah. She still had the alligator. <laughs> I love Tammy. That was the first time I met her when I loved her. <laughs> Jada <laughs> invited everybody for Koya for Thanksgiving. I made a decision. I made a decision last night when I was taking my shower that I'm not going, I'm going to turn the fire down to the lowest for this because this is my double burner, okay? I am not going to... um. I'm not going to eat a whole bunch of sweets. I'm not going to give up sugar for the holiday. Don't get it twisted. I'm not giving up sugar, oh, yeah. but I'm not going to be eating a whole lot of sweets. Meaning, I'll make dessert for Thanksgiving, and I'll make dessert, you know, a cake for Jada's birthday. For our, for our wedding anniversary, I might not make a cake. I might make a minor dessert that we would like. Christmas, Jada's birthday, and I'm going to make a black cake for sure. And I think for the whole holiday season, that's what I'll eat is the black cake because I love black cake. Yeah, I What's up, my darling? I, I, I'll get it for you. You got it? Hey, hey, hey. Wow. Look, look, not to rough up my door because one man come in here and build this whole kitchen for me. Okay? You, you pay? A girl country pay. One of the I know what that is. <laughs> Let me get some of the beans, guys. I hope I don't have to pick this batch of beans right here. <laughs> oh, I can't mash it, man. No, no, not for it. I can't mash it. Don't say nothing too hard. What do you think? This good? Yeah, that's why I'm coming to eat all this stuff. Tell me why Joe is such a horrible father that he's constantly hiding food from Joshua. Folks, he's going to eat the whole kitchen. Oh. If you got your food there and you. Just uh -huh. finish cook, and you say, well, you know what? I'll wait a little bit, and then I'm going back and eat. Don't do that, because when you come back, there's nothing nothing left for you to eat. I'm going to tell Joshua you're talking about him. I'm going to protect my baby. <laughs> what you looking for, boo? Tongues over there. I don't know. You just lost and confused, right? Look at this one. This one says, friends make the season bright. Somebody give this to me, but this needs to wash. Then big white, when they like get dusty. Let me get one of these ones. I'll wash these ones good and clean them off. Let's see. Okay, anybody have any questions? Even if you're a smaller YouTuber and you're trying to make this thing work, you're going to be learning with me because I'm learning a lot about marketing and business right now through you. Hey, 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 hey. Don't be you're splattering that stuff. To... No, it. that butter is good. Don't be splattering stuff over here to get it on my clothes. I don't have to help her. I can leave the I'm, I'm stirring the sauce. The onion is, I saw that the, the old principal from the high school I went to in Belize, they were celebrating her birthday. Mimi think that lady done dead. Sister Mercy. They were celebrating her birthday yesterday. I want to make a Guyanese black food cake with chocolate frosting. I don't know if it goes together, but it sounds good. Barbara, did you see my message about when your next cookbook is coming out? No. Did you put a message up earlier? Not mad at you, Joe. <laughs> No, which next book? I'm working on a cake book, but a cake book now come out right now. 
that cake book is too it's it's overpowering me because i have to make all those cakes and then i don't have money to buy the ingredients then when i do buy it, the cake not about good i have to throw it away then try it again then i try it three times then i get it right and i'm like this this cake book will cost me money so it's not going to come out for the holidays for sure and i was going to do an ebook on those van life meals that i was making but i'm not going to do it after all because those videos didn't do well i have one more to put up with the skillet chocolate cake those and, and one more uh, and one with the pizza the skillet pizza because i have it as a short already i'm not gonna um i'm not gonna do that then there was a there was a young lady in the live the last time i don't remember her name but she was saying that the minute she gets monetized at youtube she's gonna stop doing shorts and i told her i felt her because i wanted to stop doing shorts at youtube because i don't get no money off of it and i didn't think it was going my channel till i checked my analytics online with you guys and i showed you where the shorts were the thing growing my channel and now they're going to start paying creators for their shorts but at first they said you have to get 10 million views in 90 days to start getting paid to get monetized for the shorts which is impossible for some of us majority of us but now they've changed it and they said if you're monetized already on the platform you already did your 1000 subscribers and you did your 4,000 watch hours, you will automatically get in the mix to get paid for your shorts. All you're gonna have to do is opt in. So to my small creators that are not monetized yet, but you're close, please try everything you can do to get monetized because you wanna be in on this because you ever hear about them um, network marketing slash yeah, cool. pyramid scheme? <laughs> You ever hear about them telling you on the ground floor? You're truly on the ground floor with shorts because shorts is, is young and they're still figuring out what they're doing. And I belong to the shorts community and I filled out to go to a thing on the 18th of November and we'll see what they'll teach we're us we're there the, uh, at the YouTube studios in LA. Yeah. But the, that thing, Joe, is to cover um, speaking in public. You got me? And I know how to speak in public, but you can still always learn. If you know something, don't ever say you know everything. You can still always learn from somebody else that knows how to speak in public better than you do, right? But the, the main reason I want to go to this function is because I want to find out how I can get a YouTube manager. I've hit 100K. Why don't I have a manager? And at first they told me, sometimes it takes six months to a year for us to move people out of the program and then put new people in. No, they're going to forget about me because when I hit that 100K, I submitted because they say whenever you have a creator award that you've earned, submit so we can feature you. They've never featured me. You see how long ago I hit that from July. From July 23rd, I hit the 100K mark and they've never, never, ever featured me. So then people lied. I'm mashing the beans because I don't want to have a lot of skin in the refried beans, okay? Sam, I'm telling you, if you want to donate, you don't even have to do a GoFundMe because GoFundMe takes some of that or they'll charge you the fee. Just donate to the Cash App. If you guys tell me that that's, that money is not just for me to fart around with, but you want me to buy ingredients to do the next thing, that's exactly what I'll do with it because I don't ever do things with people money that they didn't tell me to do with it because I feel like that would be a curse on my business. If you give me $10 and you say, Barbara, go buy some of the ingredients to try to make another cake or whatever, that's what I'm going to do because I don't want my business to be cursed. That's why I don't steal. I feel like if I go to Walmart and the girl give me over change, right? Let's say I go and she give me $10, $20 over change and I know it and I come home with it. I feel like I'll lose $300 that same day because of the fact that I stole. This thing back here done. The sauce is done. I'm going to go ahead and out it. As long as the onion is tender, the sauce is done. Taste it again for salt and pepper, and then you'll know if it's good, okay? I'm still refrying the beans by squishing it with the potato masha. And this is a metal potato masha, but I'm not scraping the pan. And even if I did this as a pan, I care nothing about because this pan ain't ish. Those couple pans are stupid. Stupid. Huh, boo? Joe, jo, tell them how you fry this corn so well. Because I can't fry for nothing. Because you don't want to. No, no, no. Tell the truth. What do I do wrong? You put the fire too high. I put the fire too high and burn it up, or I put the fire too low and it come out soggy. No, I was going to ask you guys something earlier that the kids asked me the other day. They saw it on TikTok or something, and they said, 
would you pick cotton for $200 an hour? Comment in the chat. Would you all pick cotton for $200 an no. hour? Would you, Joe? No. Joe said, hell no. No, Joseph Hell no, and Jonah have no connection to slavery because slavery went out of style in Belize many, 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 many years ago. I think it, it barely started to go out of style in America in the 1960s, and it's back again. Right. It's back again. Slavery is back again. A lot of states went back into 1831. I swear. <laughs> Hi, Carla, darling. You made it. Yes, yes. Carla made it. And I play a commercial at the start of these live events because it gives you guys time to come in, okay? Okay, people, so am I. Right. Shorty can, baby, shorty can. You see it? It's it not there on the TV there. They're on the camera up there. But you see it? See? That's it. All right, this done. The beans is done. I want to show you guys. Don't refry it for too, too long. See how I stay right there and squish it? because then it's gonna to get too dry, see? It's a little bit wet still, a little bit thin, a little bit thin, because it's gonna set. As the bean sits there, it's gonna get thicker, and we want this to spread on the corn, okay? While Joe is frying, because I'm pretty much done. This is like the easiest lunch. This is one of the main reasons why I made my whole show, because we'd be at the shop hungry, and Joe would say, what's at home to eat? And I'd say, you made some beans yesterday because when you go to the food banks, the first thing they give you is beans. So Joe would put the whole big bag of beans in the crock pot. We're at work. Come home, take the beans, refry it, get to We always have, every time I open my pantry and the pantry is bare, the bare pantry show, I always got tomato sauce. Let me tell you why. Whenever we went to Food for Less to take out money, we don't take out money no more at Food for Less because they charge you a fee. When we went to Food for Less to take out money off of our ATM, we would buy three cans of tomato sauce for 33 cents a can. That's all like a dollar plus the, the um, yeah, they don't charge you tax on that stuff, right? So it'd be like a dollar, and then we would take for $10, $20. So I always have tomato. Hi, baby. I thought you was gone already, girl. No, you having look beautiful. I'm having, having a bad hair day. Oh, I thought you were going to say you have a bad headache again. Oh, no, no, no. Fine. But your hair looks cute, though. Yeah, I took a second. You want to come say hi? I'm live for doing a cookie show. I like the makeup. I like the shirt. I like the herbs. Hi. We're talking about if we'd eat cockroaches for money. Yeah, would you eat cockroaches yes. for a hundred thousand yes. dollars? Yes. How Even many? How many? Do I, five. How many? Yeah. Okay. Five. Even if it's not fried. Run it. Can I put sauce on it? No, just like that. I can't. Yeah, put, like, you, could, you, could, you could put hey, seasoning. Hey, hey, I can't put a little. Spoon. You could put spice on it. You can't cook it. It's already seasoned when it tastes. Uh, I can't thing. put a little like maybe some like hot Cheeto powder. I'm, I mean, you could put spice on it, but you can't cook Look, it. Look, you're talking to a girl who ate a cricket for five extra credit points. In and anthropology she, and she wasn't even dumb in school. She was getting good grades. She just wanted to eat that cricket. <laughs> Everybody say, what up, Jada? Uh, no, because my ancestors, my ancestors will literally roll in their grave. <laughs> Thank you for spelling it wrong too, Carla, to keep us in the algorithm. Refried beans are delicious. I eat them with rice and cheese. That sounds good. Old school way of free fried beans. Mm -hmm. Hi, um, Fifi. You know, beans are good. How's it, how's it going, huh? You know, beans are good. Uh -huh. My sister's mother-in-law, you know, those ones I brought uh -huh. that have like a bunch of lard in them. I'm, I just told him that. <sighs> I'm not going to cook my beans with no lard because I don't want to have clogged not arteries. Of course. But when if you invite me to your Mexican <gasps> backyard party, girl, go away and leave me with a pot of beans. <laughs> so good. So uh, Joe's niece, Fiona, is in the chat. Say hi to her. She is Lady... Where the hell did she go? Somebody find her for me. Lady Fee, Lady Fee Lyons. That's Joe's niece. So tell us, Fifi, how did you guys fare off in Hurricane Lisa? I have a cousin, and she's related to me on my mom's side, but I'm not going to say who. I'm not going to give you more clues, because I don't know if people want to talk. Then this is out here, because people are so... I sick of family. Can I just say I sick of family? I'm sick of family. I'm sick of family. I'm sick of family. Um, they did not do well in the hurricane. Their house is still standing, but they lost every earthly thing in the house. They came back to find the fridge floating on the side, all the appliances, all about the place to float, the couch to float, the bed to float, the bureau full of um, clothes to float, everything off the showway. 
I don't know what to do to help that person because I don't talk to her. And I'm not about to send my money to somebody I don't talk to for them to tell me, I don't need your asshole money. Okay. Eat. Let oh me God. tell you, 27 up, I did um, a thing for the Patreon. And I think you're the one that told me this. Correct me if I'm wrong. Stop jumping over whole oceans for people who would not step over a puddle for me. And that includes anybody, even Joe. Please. Even Joe. I Please. catch a grenade for you, man. Please. You catch a grenade for me? Yeah. Okay, baby. You always jump over ocean for me. Okay, she says, we all survived. Only tree damage from mom was staying with me for the hurricane in the concrete house. So thank God for that. Hallelujah. And and what about um um Bonchi? He went with um your mom too, right? He was saved. Yes, yes, yes. People are suffering in the knees. Those big black groups have seats? I don't know. It will say it on the, on the pack. Like we'll it. Um, Joe's dad lives in the neighboring town from where Fiona lives. Ladyville. Ladyville. Fiona lives in San Hill. Where this boy come from? San Hill boy. San Hill boy. San Hill boy come from San Hill. I have healthy bread in case you wanted some. Like 21 grain killer the Dave or Dave the Killer Bread. <laughs> Dave the killer. You know, I can't say that man's name. I wish I could I'm eat it. I, I made a panini out of it today and I gave it to Cora and Windsor because I can't eat the bread. Yes, yes, yes. It's all good. We just got back electricity. God have mercy. God. How do we all live without electricity? Poor babies. That's why we know I live that Belize, you know. Me afraid for hurricane. I went through Hurricane Greta in 1978. And when we come to America in 81, as I mean, I went back to live that other place. They, so they look like berries. They look like blackberries. Sorry, I'm trying to get my snacks. So I have to go to work. Make you work, work, make you work. You're going to the far location today? Yeah. How much longer for that boo? The oh, year ends. Oh yeah, so late New Year. New Year, then you then you'll be over this side. The only I'm only sad to leave my last kid. Mm -hmm. She loves me so much, and she's such a good little prodigy. Uh -huh. And she was telling me like the guy I took over from. He was kind of hard on those kids, and she was like, I would just come in fear, and I would want to do good because I didn't want him to like be mean to me. And she's like, but I'm so happy because I come and I practice so I can be good because you're just gonna be praised, and it's just sort of a fun time. And I'm like. Well, Baby, so bad. I was like, I told mom, I was like, maybe we can figure out Zoom uh -huh. private lessons for her because she's like, if you leave, I'm gonna quit. I'm like, no, don't quit, oh, baby. <laughs> can you come tell them about the wedding? Uh, All yeah. of them, Bunchy, my little sister, and her son stayed at me, and hubby was outside for a bit, but it was strong. Well, no better go inside. Go out in a damn hurricane like them. People were chase the hurricane into the eye and all kind of stuff. So Jada got invited to a wedding. You got to come here about this wedding. <laughs> Going to the chapel yeah. and we're hey. going to get married. Well, I mean, well, I Hada. Well, huh? I live in Belize and how the change is coming. Uh -huh. Guess what it's going to do. You climb on top of the tree. Wait, Go in the car, sit in the car. <laughs> Dummy. So how did you make it to your pride? One of Jada's <laughs> English co-workers <laughs> is getting married. And Jada is cordially invited to come. And let me tell you how we know we're truly invited. Because when family invites us, we don't know if we're truly invited. We have to call like another family member and go, does she really want me there? Because these bitches don't like me. Why did they invite me to this function? Or they don't really want you. It just looks bad to not invite you. Like, oh, God. Jada is truly invited to this wedding because they told Jada, you can stay at the flat. We're going to be on our honeymoon. You can stay at the flat, okay? So Which, it's I'm flattered, but that's their flat. I'm gonna get an Airbnb in Brighton. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take the train. So Jay, it's next year, May the fourth. So she's starting to save her little coins so she can get a ticket to go to her co-worker's wedding in England. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna see if Kyle can help me out because he works for the what? airlines. He's, oh, a, yeah, he's he, an aerospace technician. So. He could probably get some cheap tickets. Uh -huh. mm. Yeah, it's it's gonna be in um. Where's she located? London? London. Where's the wedding gonna be? London? London. It's London. London. She's going to London to see the king. Oh, the, queen, the queen dead. Oh. There's this lady last night that I was watching on TikTok. Uh -huh. And she's like one of these medians that she can go and like take a peek at what the people are doing in the afterlife. Let me see you. Uh-huh. 
And um, what's my, what's grandma doing? Crochet? I mean, she could probably do it. Uh huh. But she says sometimes people don't cross over, so sometimes they, she just kind of sees their essence. Uh huh. Or sometimes they like they're super private and they're not ready. She so she said that Michael Jackson kind of crossed over, uh-huh. but so all she like got to see was like his hands, uh-huh. and she just heard his music in the background, and it's like because I because she's he, but he says I'm fine, uh-huh. I'm watching. That's what he says. So He's I watching think, his kids. Yeah, I think that's what it is. And uh-huh. but then Princess Diana, she said, is kind of crossover, but then she thinks that she's reincarnated, and there was this like thing where this little boy said that he was Princess Diana uh-huh. and stuff, and like how does you know little kids have those weird little moments? Uh-huh. But um, she said that with Princess Diana, she looked like well, she went. You, I guess when you die, you can pick what age you want to go back to. Mm-hmm. What was like your favorite age? Mm-hmm. And her age was like I guess before she got married to. So before twenty. Uh-huh, so she's like. In her t- early teens, what age would you guys pick? I don't know. I would pick. I'm between, enjoying my 20s. I right would now, pick but. between 35 and 42. But uh, I don't know. I haven't hit that that you know Jesus year yet, so mm-hmm. you never know. I think maybe she's, my 30s. She's will be hitting good. her Amy Winehouse year. Oh, I am. Uh huh. That's when you're gonna make it, boo. The tampon king. Oh my God! Stop. 27 hours. The king. The tampon king. <laughs> Oh God! And it goes every bloody time. Why this ink has to get on my head every bloody time? <laughs> He's like a kid. <laughs> Stupid. You ever see an old wrinkle ass man wait so long for a job that nobody wants him to be on? Child, I don't like Charles. I don't like William and Kate. I talked to a friend of mine the other day that can't stand me again. I'm like, you can't be my friend no more. You just can't be my friend no more. Mm-mm. You guys are you guys are crazy. <laughs> Let me get a plate so we could build one of the hand guard arches. And I like um, Pioneer Woman. If you guys would like to see a collab between me and Pioneer Woman, I don't know if she collabs with anybody, right? I don't know. But if you like to see a collab, can you guys like go Twitter or something? Hey, I'm not using my Twitter anymore. That's enough, sweetheart. I'm not using my Twitter anymore because I can't stand Elon Musk. And I'm not going to watch MSNBC anymore because they fired Tiffany Cross because they hired her for her opinion. And when she gave her opinion and people didn't like to hear it, they fired her for her opinion. So I stopped. I'm not watching MSNBC. I, I might get rid of cable and just do the something from Fire Stick. What's it called? F-R-E-E-V-E-E. I might try to free V from Amazon Fire Stick because they have Ion on there and they have Lifetime and they have the regular channel. That's all I watch. That's all I watch. <laughs> so I'm going to make one. Do you guys see that I'm putting one at the con? I prefer, comment in the chat if you would prefer to buy the corn already fried or to fry your own. Even though I suck at frying the corn, I would prefer to fry it myself because that corn in the bag have an aftertaste for me. So... Let me go ahead. You take the beans. So this is kind of like a taco. And you butter it. You butter it. We know I left none for Joe. Onto the thingy. I gotta get my own. Okay, hold on. Let me get a spoon, baby. Did I have a pot spoon here just now? A pot spoon. Then we're gonna get some of the um the red sauce. Not no damn ketchup. Like I tell you, you could do ketchup if you want, but don't invite me to that. Because I wanna come back and talk about you. When, when we go to different function, Belize function, we are awful. Joe, this might need a little bit more salt and pepper. Taste it before you try it, honey bunch. Taste it before you try it, nothing. Me and Joe, awful. Joe will go get the food first, right? Joe will come back and taste the rice and beans. And he'll right. say, he, he go, if it's good, he'll say, it's all right. If it's not good because the rice didn't soak all the way, so the rice didn't fluff up, and it's going to break out your filling, he'll say, don't eat that. The rice will soak. <laughs> And then he'll go get the desserts, right? If they have tart, he'll go get the tart and go, no, eat that. They put nutmeg. Oh, my God. He's so protective of me. I really appreciate it, though. My, fry my own. Con- yes, control the crunch. Yes, yes. You guys are people after my own heart. If you don't have Dutch cheese, you can use Parmesan. It smells the same, and this tastes a little bit better. But you can replace it with that. See? Let me go take it close for them to see, honey. What are you this is something like that weird. Oh, look at that. Oh, la la. Oh, la la. You want to make no onion? What? You mean make no onion? 
The onion there, you know the sauce. Oh, sorry. You don't eat panadas, you know. Sorry. The other day, Joe gone. Let me tell you what Joe did. Joe's gonna be fired. What? Joe gone by Masa. Ever since the kids are little, Jada, tell me. Masa what? Masa para tortilla. Masa para tortilla. We go. Guess. Even the kids don't speak no Spanish. They go in there. They tell the lady yeah. at the counter. Mommy say dos libras de masa para tortilla. They know that much, right? No masa preparada para tortilla. This one gone by the masa. Bring it home. The masa feels. I couldn't put my finger on it. I said, Joe, this masa no good. What the hell? Who make this masa today? I said, almost feel like I need to take that thing that Bella had sent me a script. The you know the tamale leaf, right? Me make off all the panadas and the panadas broke up, broke up, broke up, broke up, broke up, a pile of panadas like this. Bullshit. You have to eat it with a fuck because I eat that. Jordan eat it because it was like raw on the inside. Let me tell you, I gone in the trash and take out the bag. The bag said masa preparada. I said, shame on you. He said, I tell the lady masa para tortilla. The lady give me that. I said, well, you could read. Well, it was my fault. You gone to school? I go all the time. I ask for what they want. They give me one. I asked the lady for the same thing again and... I never look at this. Mm. Wait. Let me show you what I have to do to eat this. It's good, people. It's good. But one thing, you don't have no ketchup on it. You don't have no what? Why are they going to cut your ass, you know? I don't care. Huh? Did you say what I did, you said? Yeah. Yeah. So why work on it? It's not wrong. I don't work things like that. That's least least my problem. Okay, I'm behind you. Watch your elbow. So my friend Tracy told me that when I'm going to eat beans and broccoli and all that thing, because you know I have trouble with my intestines still. I've been doing really well, though. Right? I've been doing really well. I right? haven't heard me complain for weeks now about my stomach. Watch me complain tonight. I have to take this um, gas X. No gas X. What the hell is this one? It says Bino. Uh, Bino. See, you know, it's not Bino is the name brand. Thank you, Jada. But this just says equate gas and bloating prevention. So I got to take that before I eat. But she says also take a gas X before I eat. And that will ease the pain. Why did you name it Dino? Because most of the time people get gas from beans. And I wanted to tell them that I read somewhere recently where they say that beans and rice are so healthy for you because rice is a seed and bean is a legume. And when you put them together, you get a whole protein. So if you're like vegan or vegetarian, that's like the best thing for you to eat some beans and rice. Get some of that good protein. So I'm taking the gas X because I ain't getting no pain. Mm -mm. Don't food. don't be like me. You know, I think I was born with a bad stomach. Mommy said for a nice smile, I was the, the throw up. Bye, Sam R. Thank you for coming in. Lori said we're making her hungry. It wasn't supposed to be a mukbang. You don't have no paper? Mm -hmm. mm. So, I think in the past we would eat like four of these, right? Mm -hmm. To get full. But now I cut it to two because I've come to the conclusion that that's the only thing I have control over is my weight. I have control over nothing else, I have control over my weight. And I'm going to choose to eat less so that I could not gain back no weight and I could continue to lose. It's as simple as that. I mean, eat less, move more. There's no magic to it. No keto, no this, no that. No, no magic. Eat less, move more. And it's easy to say, but hard to do. That's quite, that's quite big, huh? Mm-hmm. Because mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, you don't have control over that. Right, that book. I'm sure you don't have control over nothing but I don't. With yourself. Mm -hmm. You got control over me, huh? I don't have damn control over you. <laughs> You're a wild horse. Wild horse. <laughs> I would not want to have control over my man. I just, I don't. That would be annoying. Yeah. Here you go, sir. I'll kick your butt. Mm. 
the masa preparada is it's already prepared and then prepared by putting lard in it and a whole bunch of other mess and it's prepared for tamales. The one that's para tortilla doesn't have nothing in it more than the can and whatever they put to water, oil, whatever to put it together, right? And so that's the difference when you go to the Mexican stores to buy the masa. And my kids from the time they're five years old, they know when they get that counter when they ask for. This one, 65, I'm going to bring preparada. He, look, he just wasn't being look, toxic for a while. You know, his toxic look, side creeps out. I'm only human. Okay? The, high, the high end. <laughs> aloe vera. The, the aloe vera, we put it in orange juice, but aloe vera is a cocktail, so you have to be careful how much of that you put in your stomach. But it's good for you. Yeah. Francine had garnaches today. Francine, did you know what I was making? I, I'm not taping any mukbang until I get my good camera back because that tapes longer. It tapes past 30 minutes. So you know I bought a camera. It was going to come by the 17th. Now it's going to come by the 11th. It's going to come 11, 11, 22. That camera is going to be blessed. The next camera with a fool to fix, I'm going to sell it. All right? I put oh. too much money into that camera to not sell it. Let me ask the people. Mm -hmm. How do I eat? Do I eat? Sexy, or do I eat nasty? Like some people say, when I eat my bang, I eat nasty. Look at it. Oh, is this is this sexy or is this nasty? Look, look. Bow, 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 bow. What do you think? <laughs> Let, I want to tell on one. I want to tell on one. Least story real quick, and then we're gonna end this because we only have twenty hours of mo a month to use for streamyard before we have to start to pay. It's two hundred and forty dollars for the whole year. All right. Let me tell you the story. So B loves, they put out a video two days ago where they say they were robbed, but I think they titled it that way to get the eyeballs on the channel. I have no issues with that. A lot of people in the comment had issues with that. They had to go look up the dictionary to show them what we were robbed means, blah, blah, blah. They got scammed. They were about to get scammed. Right? So it was like for $10,000 they said, cause you know, then people make big money. So while he, while the husband was telling the story, the wife kept interrupting to let us know how much money they got. Oh, because we have a lot of bank accounts all over the place. Oh, yeah, bank account. Man. I thought that was so gauche. And I went in the comments and I lived there for like an hour. People were just like bashing her. They called her remedial. They called her all type of stuff. And it's like, I don't think she's remedial. I think she knows what she's doing. I think she plays the fool to catch the wise. I really do. Because I met her. I met her in real life. I met the husband, I met the son. And I didn't pick up remedial from her, all right? She knows how to play this algorithm game. But I just thought it was kind of gauche for her to just show off about all the money they make and what they have. Because you're making the money off of the backs of these people that are watching you. And they don't ever do giveaways as far as I know. Maybe they do giveaways, but don't tell us, you know? But as far as I know publicly, they don't do any giveaways. So somebody was asking, do we think they should do giveaways? And I said, well, I don't think they're obligated to do the giveaways. But if I were making that type of money... Hell yeah, I'd be doing giveaways. I would contact my tax guy first to find out what I'm going to be on the hook for. Because sometimes you're on the hook for that stuff. And then I would start to do whatever. he. If he says, you can't give away more than $10,000 at one pop, Barbara, because yada, yada, do this in one quarter, do this in the next quarter. I would do whatever he told me to do to stay safe tax-wise for me and for the receiver. And I would give away. Why wouldn't I? That, God, that would be fun. Right, Joel? Let's say we have 10K. And we said, we're going to bless two or three people off of this 10K. And we say, tell us your story. Because some people will lie, but most people will tell the truth. And you tell us the story about what you need the money for. Boom, you get a prize. You get a car. You get, oh, my God, that would be folks, amazing. When I, when I was younger, in, say, 16, 17, 18, mm -hmm. and people said, boy, give away your money to this. I ain't give away my money. This is my money. I ain't giving away my money. My money, my money, my money, your money, my money. But, as you get older, uh -huh. and you see what life is all about. Mm -hmm. You see why it's, it's good to give. To give. Because mm -hmm. it's nice. Now, I want to start talking some conversations, maybe at the other page, Grip Pantry Talk, about when certain people give you stuff, and then they make you feel like you're obligated. That's like one topic. I can't stand that feeling. Because when I, like when we went over to Jory's new house, I took, I did all those curtains, right? Because I'm trying to get protection on the window. And I told them, uh, um, Esther and Mabel, look, this is what I had. So I went and added to what I had. 
if you guys don't like these curtains at any point, even if it's tomorrow, you want a different curtain, you can give this away to somebody else. You can throw it away. You can do anything you want to do to them curtains, and I will not be mad. All right? Because that's your thing that I gave to you, and if you don't like it, I don't want nobody to give me a set of curtain for my front window, and I have to have it 50 years because they will ask me over and over again, what a curtain, what a curtain. No. No, you give me a camera, so no, you want me to have it 10 years because you won't ask me. No, 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 no. I give you that thing. You want to get rid of it? That's your problem. I already got the blessing from God by giving it, by releasing it, you know, because they say if, if you look in your, and what you have in your hand is not enough to be a harvest, then it's your seed. So if I look and I only have $100, but I need $1,000 to pay for that camera, I better sow that damn 100 Sow it. <laughs> Edmund said, when you eat, they know you to enjoy the food. Uh, Jada said, don't hype him up. So we bought a thing from Amazon. It's called Pop Ease. P-O-P-E. I think it's E-Z-E. -E, Pop Ease. Or E-E-A-S-E. -E. I don't bloody know how the thing spelled. But it's a thing that you attach to the hose of a shop vac. And you're supposed to wet the popcorn in the ceiling and vacuum the popcorn off into the shop vac. We're going to try a little spot of it later just to see if it works. And then we're going to do that room that Jory left. And I'm going to do a review on it because there's no videos at the Amazon page for that product except one of the company uh, put the video there to show you how it works. We're going to show you the real way it works and if it does work. I pray to God it works because we have popcorn all over this damn house. So we're going to be doing that project real soon. And I'll tell you guys how it works out because that room is empty. And Cora is starting to think she owns the room. Because nobody can't go to the door. And it's like, that's Joshua's room now. You better back off, girl. So when Jory took her for one little visit on the weekend, she almost drowned in the pool. Yes, dogs can swim. But I think she got in the pool thinking it was her wading pool that we always have here for them in the summer. And she always gets in there and lays down. And pretty soon she got in there and she was in trouble. And Jory didn't know. She didn't know there were stairs to climb out. She's trying to jump out from one end. She's exhausting herself. And thank God Jory found her in time. We didn't lose they're a sweet Cora, okay? So anyways, guys, Jasmine finally came in. For real. And Jasmine is a giver. You guys don't even understand. Jasmine deals with a lot daily with her health. And Jasmine will find a way to get to the post office to mail me fantastic gifts. I've shown you. I've done um, unboxings of a lot of things Jasmine has sent me. And she always knows how to send good gifts. And I always feel like it comes with a, an anointing on it, a blessing. But anyways, I want to go eat my stuff. I want to enjoy it. If I eat this and talk at the same time, I'm going to catch a lot of air and get gas. I'm trying not to get gas and bloating today. So Joe, don't eat up all the damn beans. Damn, Jared, how much did you get? Two? Two? Okay, at least you got some, baby. All right, well, we have more beans to refry more later in the same pan, all right? Anyways, guys, if you liked this video, I hope that you hit that like. I hope the mods, mods, I don't even know what I'll... Hi, Heather, darling. I don't even know what you guys the mods were doing to promote what i'm selling but i have three books let me show you guys my three books really quickly uh 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 uh, uh. tea i wonder who sent that bella always be sending the teas we're putting the powder bun in this ziploc bag to see how long it will last before it gets hard because joe feels like the secret to my success lies in powder bun he feels like if I can get this like in Starbucks or something, not for me to make it, no, because I don't want to slave the rest of my days. For them to make it, for them to put it in their factory and make it and pay me my licensing fee. Oh, by the way, I put a thing in the community feed with my friend Farron that put out his new song and his new music video. Go watch it. 27 Ab, go watch it. That thing was so funny. I was dying. The song called Dokunuman, okay? So I have powder bun that I'm trying to see how long it lasts. So this is my Belizean cookbook, 130 authentic Belizean recipes. I don't even care if your granny say not authentic. Your granny don't know nothing, all right? She don't know nothing because she ain't want to give you the recipe. The hell with she. Then the next book is this one, The Pantry Laid Bear. And this is better than restaurant quality meals at home. I used to say restaurant quality meals at home, but you know what? Damn thing tastes better than, better than what you get at the restaurant. What you doing over there? Don't put the hot thing on my beautiful counter. You are. See the thing over there? They're behind the cutting board. The thing for you to set hot stuff on. 
And then this one is a small batch book because a Belizean man, I don't remember his name, he reached out to me and he said, which one of your book have for just one person? I'm alone. I live alone. I said, sir, I don't have no book like that. He goes, well, you better make one. So I made it. All small batch stuff in here. You don't have to do them big cakes for the holiday. I'm not going to be eating a whole lot of sweets for the holiday. I already told you this. I'm going to make black cake and pretty much eat that. Yep. If you want something for your birthday, I'll make it. But other than that, I'm making black cake, and that's what I'm eating. Can black cake make you poop? <laughs> huh? No, for the holidays. For the holidays. No, thanks. Even I'm going to make your you guys junk that you guys like. Thank you, moderators. Thank you for always working hard because, you know, moderation is a very hard job. A lot of people can't make it in on the time that Barbara wants to go live when I have all my energy. And so for you guys to come in and promote what I'm doing, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I think the only moderator that I have that has a channel is Bessie. So Bessie is always allowed to drop her info in there too because Bessie finally got to 1,000 subscribers, I think, but she needs to watch hours. We need to get Bessie monetized before the reels start paying out. They're going to start paying out February 1st, 2023. All right. Now, I watched a guy last night. I'm going to watch him some more. And in our next live event, we're going to talk about what I've learned from this guy because he was teaching you what business to do, because sometimes what we're passionate about is not the business that we should be doing. Right. So I told you guys in the last video that I'm not passionate about cooking. Now, this was fun because we talk. I love to talk. Right. So this was fun to do this while we're talking. But for me to get in here and cater and cook and I'm going to be the one whenever you need something with baby show up christenings. I, no, uh, -uh. I don't I don't like to do all that. So anyways, guys, let's see if I missed anybody. Anna, you sat in the bushes. Thanks for saying hi. You guys remember to like go back after the video populates. Go back to the chat and just leave me a heart or something or a thumbs up. Because sometimes there's nothing on that page. I'm like, nobody said nothing. Oh, God, I want to go answer the comments, all right? Anyways, guys, I love you guys so much. Keep praying that we can save our democracy. I don't even care if you belong to the Red Party. Y'all know what the party said they're going to do. They're going to get rid of our Social Security. It's like, we can't live without our Social Security right now, child. Anyways, if you like what we produce here today, go on ahead and look at this video that I'm going to post after this video populates. I'm going to post this video for you guys to watch next. Bye. I needed Joe to be here to end it for me.